Yo, it's your boy HHWH, let's go Harry, and um, I want to talk today about um, social skills and how much I've changed to mastery in general and tighten the social skills. Because, quite honestly, if you met me during the darkest days, I've ruined my capacity to have any social skills. I was always quiet at school, timid. My dad, um, it was fear of my father due to belting, belting, and the threat of it when he wasn't belting that really made me timid and weak. And very non, um, um, not just non-dominant, um, a lack of feeling to express myself and my personality and to have opinions outside of the conditional love, uh, uh, outside of the, the studies, you know, uh, just making friends. I was always a struggle at school. I was always the quiet one that was just laughing at people or doing naughty things, something for attention, but never talking much. There wasn't much development, what I'm trying to say, in my social skills um, at school. And then there wasn't much development. Compared to most people, it wasn't disastrous, um, but it was just mostly listening and laughing and not really expressing myself, my personality. But then it went even worse during my trauma days, um, when I was hiding toys at school, and then my social skills and my story I told myself really destroyed my self-esteem, attraction to negative attention. Then I really did, did a number of my social skills. They became completely fucked. Completely fucked. Can you feel the energy of which I'm saying it? said the really bad social skills. Really bad. I remember at one point, um, this was just before uni, and it was just going bad and bad and bad. I used to think in my head, well, if I just spoke 10,000 words, I could fix myself. Weird. I was in a weird headspace and really bad. Was... Anyway, now, at the age of 34, and since 2009, I've been facing my fears and improving my social skills. So I'm in this game a long time. But I've got to say, now, my social skills, proudly, have become really fucking tight. Really tight. Especially with you guys, because we connect on a deeper level. But if I'm being real, even with strangers, um, in shops, with people, smiling, happy, knowing how to offer value. I never knew how to offer value verbally. To make people smile, to ask them questions. How's your day going? When they're bored at work. Taxi drivers, amazing. I've got momentum now. I'm just doing it all the time. I'm in taxis, I'm in um, shops. I'm just saying hello um, to... When the moment precludes at the right time, I know when to keep quiet too. But it's amazing when I think about it. I was thinking about it last night. My social skills have gone up so much. And this is relatable to you guys. Uh, because it's a mastery. Anything you practice a lot of, you get really good at. You practice spirituality. You practice physical health. You practice being triggered and learning from it. You get really good at it. You practice connecting, not just with people in our community, but ordinary people and making them smile. Offering value. It's a mastery. And it's beautiful, and I'm really grateful, and it makes me smile that my um, social skills have <laughs> really gone up a lot from what they used to be. There's such a transformation. Yes, it's taken a long time, but I'm in a good place with it now. I know how to make people smile. I know how to offer value. I know how to make people happy. And it's because I've stopped being selfish due to my trauma and really figured out stuff and practiced with people. I know what to say at the right time to the right people. Social calibration with empathy. It's awesome. I know how to connect, I know how to make people laugh, I know how to make myself laugh when I'm with people. I can feel people's energies and vibe. Yeah, I love it. Alright. It's amazing. The point is, you can change. It takes time, but you can change. A lot. You can be proud of yourself. You didn't have something, you work on it, you can have it. Life is beautiful. Alright, namaste.